Welcome to Perth Town. New location. Same mission. I find this is where the contract really shows its value. Because it can be on the move flying around. But it really brings you back to what are your priorities, what are your goals, and what are you going to do about them today. For me, I kind of want to be known as, as like the dog, really. You know, the, the guy where, where things didn't this come supernaturally good. to him. Didn't have a whole lot of gifts, because didn't have an easy start in Bollywood, and didn't have growth that, that rapidly occurred. Just fought like crazy for it this every day. Didn't have a super fun approach. Yes, didn't have a pleasurable approach. But just did it every day Where so consistently and, and was able to outlast a lot of others. And then you slowly just chew away at that distance between this is where you are and, and where the talented athletes are. Over time, yes, it just, you can just make that distance smaller and smaller by daily outworking. That's more that I think I want to I want to be known as. Was it the money that made me accept? Popping them pipes and I made it a habit. Towing them pictures and serving them. The routine stays established. It's like being perfect when others wouldn't be. That's the difference. And you can make every excuse in the world for why things need to be different when you're traveling. But at the end of the fucking day, if it's really that important to you, you find a way to make it happen. It's a rally, the light of the city, let me GR3. I got the plug, you send him up to you. feel like you went and tried hard, and then your dad died. That was embarrassing to watch. I wanted to leave the game. But I am so thankful for those moments. Because they toughen you up. They're more, so much more valuable than getting coddled and getting a, a tap on the back for everything and getting told that you did a great job. If you're always being told that you did a great job, when in reality it's just been mediocre attempts and performances, you start to believe that those mediocre performances are remarkable. And that significantly lowers your ceiling. In everything. You start believing that mediocre efforts should be rewarded, and that is fucking dangerous. Told me that we are fell. Remember they said it was CSL. Dad would tell me like can't do it. I'm in the field like the NFL. Niggas is sick and I wish him well. I made a wish and a wish him well. I put a brick in a wish him well. Been through some shit and I'm sick of jail. No disease, but I'm sick of cells. Sick of tired of sending niggas mail. Calling niggas just to get a bell. I just seen a nigga get a L. Never coming home, minute on the phone. Sick of tired of seeing niggas fail. Sick of tired of seeing niggas lose. Sending like we try and get the hell. And cause I'm back down on my own again. This is the blues I'm playing Yes, it's a fine old thing When the night is cold and lonely This is the Vagabond about a Ronan, which is a, a masterless samurai. So basically the, the most badass motherfucker that you can imagine in Japan back then. A highly skilled swordsman that just wasn't accountable to anyone. And Musashi, the main character in this one, 
is basically just on a pursuit to fight and beat all the best swordsmen. And he is just fully committed to reaching his potential and becoming his strongest possible. So there's a lot to take out of this. Yeah. You ever <clears throat> had a home that's you did that that before? But when it comes down to helping you, they barely Turn support. When you around them, you feel like you stuck with various chores. They did wait, but you love them too much to bury the corpse. So you keep them around, <clears throat> hoping that the sun will shine. You. No harm, and I'm gonna get one, one more try. And then they screw you again, yep. and you like, fuck, no why. And that's the second you know that you gotta cut those ties. And they're taking advantage of you, aiming they manage to shoot. You can't even tell them. They unable to handle it. I had you, bro. I had you. I just made you work a little bit. You're telling me you're sorry. I'm like, uh-uh. That is new. That's when you got to turn your back and put yep. your foot down. If you put up with it, you gonna get put out. Nigga, don't you what's out? Yep. See, I've been boxing with this. You work, man. Come on. Let's go, Let's go, Come on. Let's go, Let's go, Come on. Let's go, 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 Let's you don't let me spot you through the rap. <laughs> if I could just drag me through that. <laughs> when you do like just well, that's a bad spot to be in. Like when I was living in Perth, I was like just doing well. Like I was comfortable, I was doing a little bit better than everybody else, but not where I wanted to be. It's like the, uh, the bo boxing, you know, you, you see a lot of fights where like a good fighter, you know, they might just be like coasting. And then it takes like a fucking, a real hard shot yeah. to like rattle them a bit yeah. and make them realize that fuck, okay, I'm not indestructible and unbeatable here. Yeah. That makes them switch on. Yeah. And then they just come out and just fucking like destroy the guy. And I think that's probably similar to what's happened with us. It's like, yeah. we needed that check to switch on and be like, okay, we got more to do here. Perth is very comfortable. Everyone's comfortable there, you know? Perth, Perth is the land of satisfaction. Yeah. Perth is the land of satisfaction. I get enough and I settle and that's it. Yeah, Perth is do enough, be enough. Everything's just enough. Being satisfied now is like terrifying to me. Yeah. Because I, I, at the moment you start being satisfied, you're almost admitting to yourself that you're not growing and climbing anymore. So every day I spend my that's time it. That's nice. drinking wine. Come on, fine. go with me. Waiting here to find yes. Uh, one more behind this. Come on, stay on it. Fight. Uh, uh, way. Uh, yes. uh, yes. Okay, here we go. Turn on five. Yep. Yes. Four. Uh, three here. One. Two. Uh, lay on it. Uh, in the clinch. In the clinch. In there. No tap. Uh, finish. Oh, 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 oh,
good news, hood news. You just don't look like you. How do they get a deal and come back in the whole hood look like you? Screaming, please, squad, hold it down. Can't drive, bitch. I'm leaving the blind, bitch. If I live the dogs, I'll leave the side. Niggas copping guns like you're legally by. The only key to someone to get a piece of the one. I said one. Just believe it for sight, bitch. I'll be fine just to drink in my wine, bitch. I got the love birds chirping at the window. Unbelievable, I can't even tell you. The cat changes people, yeah. huh? No, I've got rest pauses in like half my exercises, has every day. Nutrition's changed, like times before and after, just mindset, moving out of the rental. I live really? Really, yeah. Move that plant from the shade to the sun. Yeah, no, I love that. I love that so much where what I say gets put into yeah. the practice, you know, that that's awesome. So yeah. thank you. No, it uh, was, I came back and like I felt so it's like everything I already thought was reaffirmed. And I came home, I remember coming home and my, one of my housemates was drinking and like fell down the stairs into a wall. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not staying. I was like, no way I'm gonna come from that and yeah. settle for this. I love that, I love that. Um, I'll be I'll be excited to see you at camp next yeah. year and we'll be able to like do the comparison, you yeah. know, see like where you're at the year before and then everything that's different. Because yeah. you can make quantum leaps in 12 months time if you make those yeah. changes. Like it's people they really underestimate what they can do in 12 months when they you, you apply yourself and you're willing to like make big changes. So yeah. even um, in the past month. I mean yeah, that's that's more than I expected in yeah. such a short time. So you're gonna go fast, that's exciting. That's bad. It's fucking good. Jeez, that was yes, so every day I spend my uh, time again. drinking wine, uh, feeling fine. Uh, come on! Uh, 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 yeah. You're going fast and you got new stretch marks, eh? Yeah. Comes with the territory. <laughs> Especially when you're supposed to be like a 55 kilo Vietnamese boy. Yeah. <laughs> God said this boy is going to be 56 kilos <laughs> peaked. That's a lot, man. Paul had other plans. <laughs> Come on, it's 
Jackson Pios, PhD here. There's just one week until my biggest event. Who's that, Jackson? 